Cybersecurity means staying safe with your data and information online. It can be tricky sometimes, with criminals getting even smarter with ways to get information from you. Here's a few tips to stay safe. Firstly, understand that you're an attractive target for cyber criminals. It doesn't matter how much money or data you have, usernames, passwords, documents, emails, etc., or even just the place where you work, you're going to be targeted. It's not even personal, as cyber criminals automate most of their attacks. Don't ever say, it can't happen to me. Let's start off with your computer in general. Get protection for your connection. Make sure you have a good antivirus program and that it's kept up to date, as well as keeping your operating system up to date. Paid is better than free, but there are many great free antivirus options out there. Antivirus is still very necessary, so don't skip it. Also, never leave your computer, laptop, smartphone, or tablet unlocked while you're away. Don't make it so easy for anyone to get into your system. If you haven't done so, set up a password to access your devices as soon as possible. Now, while we're talking about passwords, let's look at passwords for email accounts, online accounts, etc. Make sure your password is strong. Use uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters like pound signs and asterisks, etc. The more complex the password is, the less likely it will be for someone to gain access to your account. And never reuse an old password. To help even further, don't think of creating passwords, but pass phrases, such as $1 lattes is a great deal. Numbers, special characters, more than 15 characters, including the spaces. It's a phrase that's easy for you to remember, but difficult for a computer to brute force attack. An additional element of security is two-factor authentication. Use two-factor authentication everywhere you're able to. Two-factor authentication simply means that you'll need a passphrase and a unique PIN sent to your mobile device such as text messages via SMS or an authenticator app, which you will then enter as you log in, giving you that extra level of security. What does this really mean for you? This means that even if someone did learn your password, they would still need that secondary authentication approved in order to access and modify your account. Think of it like this. In order to withdraw money from an ATM, you need your bank card and your PIN. If someone knows your PIN, it's not enough. They'll need the card as well, which I'm sure you keep close track of. Finally, with passwords and PINs, be careful that no one is watching when you type them in. It would be simple for someone to steal your info this way. And never share your passwords, ever. This includes your IT department. Now, email. The contact we use for all other accounts. The place we store everything from conversations with loved ones to documents and personal information. It's invaluable. Can you imagine someone breaking into it? If you want top level security for your email account, make sure you do the following. Keep your recovery information up to date. Check your recent activity to make sure someone else isn't trying to log in. Keep your two-factor authentication settings up to date. Open an additional email account to keep your most important account safe as a recovery email address. Now let's deal with spam emails, emails that you probably don't want. These emails could be coming from a source that got a hold of your email address from something that you typed it into. That could be from a store or somewhere else. So when out and about, be careful where you submit your email address. When in your email inbox, unsubscribe from any unnecessary newsletters. Use filters and mark emails as spam if they come into your inbox and you don't want to see them anymore, which will help your email provider block it more effectively. Never click on links in spam emails. Never download and open attachments in spam emails. Disable the automatic downloading of HTML graphics in your mails. Sometimes malicious software and viruses can arrive with code from an image. For more information about keeping safe online, give us a call and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.